Here we have a two-piece sill putty mold. The only difference between a one-piece and a two-piece is that a parting agent is used to prevent bonding between the two halves. MR150 or Vaseline is applied to the first half of the mold prior to making the second part. Here I'm showing you the second half of the mold that I've created. And this is the first half. Before I made that second half, I've carved out some holes or keys that will help align the two mold halves together. I used a tool to basically gouge out some holes. So when I applied the second half of the mold, it created these little bumps. Again, these bumps will align the mold halves together and make it for a nice tight registration. Now I'm preparing the mold for casting. I've used rubber bands here to basically hold the mold together and to keep it from leaking the liquid polyurethane resin that we're going to be used to make our parts. Here we have our quick cast, which is a two-part polyurethane casting resin. This system offers a three-minute work time with a 15 to 30 minute demold time. Here I'm going to pour off the B component, which I've previously shaken up and agitated. Next I'm going to pour off the A side. I'm going to thoroughly blend the two components together in a plastic mixing cup here. Want to ensure a nice thorough mix by scraping the sides, top and bottom. Usually you mix together for about 15 to 20 seconds before pouring into the silicone mold here. As I'm pouring into the silicone mold, I'm allowing the material to seek its level here, filling up that mold cavity tapping the mold, making sure all the air bubbles are floating to the top surface. Here I'm going to use a little trick, spray some silicone release agent on the surface here. Helps minimize the bubbles on the top surface of the part. I like to have a, an extra mold next to me in handy so I can pour off any excess resin. Just trying to be economical here. As you can see, the material is heating up and changing color. The quick cast is a white resin. Next, we're going to be demolding the quick cast from the silicone mold. Carefully taking off the rubber bands on our silicone mold here. Slowly demolding the casted part. Slowly working my way around the, the casted part here. Cleaning up some of the flash, which is just excess resin. Trimming it down. It's easy to do it while it's still a little green, not fully cured here. The resin's maybe a little bit flexible. And of course, a little warm. And here you go. Our quick cast part out of our sill putty mold.